you know there is something heartbreaking about a movie when you step out of the theater and self reflect that you may have been slightly harsh on lokesh kanagraj and what he was capable of pulling off with talapati vijay a lot of people just don't know how to play the balancing act and when you see venkat prabhu have the capability to pull off mangatha and most recently manadu goat is far from the expectations of a stylized slick and intelligent thriller that fans expected from this director The thoughts regarding a Talapati Vijay film are associated with a lot of emotion right now because he is at the penultimate stage of his career. His last film presumably is the next one that he is doing with H Vinod and then he is bidding adieu to acting as he is venturing into politics and this has made the reactions behind a Talapati Vijay film very volatile right now. The review for the film needs to be honest but also have the sensitivity and acknowledgement of the long career fans are saying bye to. Keeping in mind all these details leading up to the release of Goat, Venkat Prabhu categorically and conveniently I must say stated that Goat has come out exactly how he envisioned it to be versus other cases mostly referring to his flop films where the actors involvement or the producers interjection affected the overall product with the rather mediocre marketing of this film the movie is scheduled to be one of the biggest openings at the box office this year and this is shockingly without any support of the north indian states as the tamil filmmakers are still undergoing an issue with the national chains as the film has not released all over just a testament to the star power and box office mania vijay is associated with the marketing has done a good job in not revealing key details about the plot most of the trailer being a montage of vijay with different looks varying in age with the use of de-aging technology at least what we do know is that vijay is part of sacts the special anti-terrorism squad with the likes of prabhu deva prashant and ajmal amir headed by their superior played by jairam the organization is handed over important missions across the globe and when they cross with menin played by mohan it uncovers a scarred history that proves costly to gandhi played by vijay how vijay is personally affected while on a mission how years later an aged family man copes with the appearance of a younger doppelganger and how it ties into events that happened while he was an active soldier forms the basic premise of goat this review is going to be absolutely spoiler free at least regarding key plot points of the film and trust me when you see the movie and what the trailer gave away that itself is a skill is there an ultimate mission that puts the lives of thousands at stake and needs an aged gandhi's intervention and if so what is that dreaded plan is what you will explore when you step into the theater for this film here's me telling you the good and bad aspects of goat so that you guys can ultimately decide whether to watch it in theaters or not you will notice that each point i present will have mixed conflicting feelings because that is the nature of this film middling and leaving more to be desired the emotion of my each point the music and choreography let's be honest okay whenever there is a talapati vijay film releasing i do not care i need a dance banger and goat in regards to its entire music album composed by yuvan shankar raja probably has to be the weakest in years talk about a massive commercial movie releasing and there is not one song that people are humming or moving their feet to even content duds since the pandemic featuring vijay like varisa had ranjita mein and beast had arabic kuttu at least something that allowed for the audience to dance unabashedly in theaters i mean leo had na ready and i think it's safe to say masters Vati coming just can't be matched. Imagine still breaking box office records on your first day when you have zero bangers from the album. The organic and on the ground love for this man is truly unmatched. What's also sad regarding the music in this film is that it is edited so poorly in the film that it never takes the story forward, acting as abrupt breaks to the storytelling. causing you whiplash because an intense scene would get over and suddenly you would have vijay dancing with either his mates or the heroine the song whistle podu had an odd looking choreography inundated with incoherent footwork 
you've got Vijay and Prabhu Deva and this is the final outcome the song spark with actress Meenakshi Chaudhary rings out the preteen out of me bursting out of laughter i mean you literally have a sinister death take place and vijay casually dancing on a song called mata it's all over the place in terms of music integration in the screenplay what's however even more heartbreaking is that the music is not the biggest problem but the underwhelming background music throughout the film that neither generates exhilaration within you as you see action set pieces or a punch in the gut with its emotional moments there are so many money shots in the film but the score is so thunder it does a disservice to what you are seeing on screen work life balance and effective emotional thread What I absolutely loved about the first half of Goat was that it taps into the absence of the work-life balance for raw agents. This is something which was beautifully explored in the series Family Man, where a person to the public is a middle-class and mediocre person with a government job, but behind the scenes he is an absolute badass, engaging in missions which always put his life in danger. This is hilariously captured in a scene where Vijay is taking down the grocery shopping list from his wife while hanging from a high is building I actually loved the chemistry he shared with Sneha playing his wife. One of the biggest criticisms of a Talapati Vijay film lately has been that his movies are high on style but emotionally distant. But what was very impressive at least in the first half of this film is that they beautifully built an emotional thread with his family dynamic. There is a scene where Vijay is protecting his family when caught in a crossfire with enemies and you see his son with doting eyes. He is enamored with his ability in the line of combat. This beautifully explores a father-son bond. It does have an emotional depth that is otherwise lacking in commercial films. What's sad however is that this beautiful build up is watered down due to the film's exhausting running time and otherwise headless chicken-like state of its second half. I'll tell you more about that in the later point. Technology and exhausting run time. Filmmaking has largely become dependent on technology that ranges from locations being recreated on film sets to actors looking considerably younger through de-aging technology. What I can attest to is that a young Vijay actually looks phenomenal on the big screen. The young and old Vijay in the same frame is technically brilliant and does not look jarring at all. What's however a clear reflection of technology being at its nascent stage is when you see the output of a very young Vijay in the film, much like what was the final output of a young ashwatthama in kalki while the baby skin does represent youth the eyes in most of these sequences are dead causing for an artificial touch to the scenes the face reflects a younger person but because the eyes cannot emote as well as the real person they are almost dead while essentially performing a scene with anger or despair The film is over 3 hours long and it is inexcusable honestly. By just cutting two of the unnecessary songs, the film would have largely benefited from at least 15 minutes being chopped out of its final edit. You especially feel the snail like running time in the second half where it's just innumerable action set pieces and a predictable plot that leaves no room for shocks later on. This is one of the biggest problems of Goat. The twist itself comes in so early in the film you're left with only action set pieces and fan service in the second half speaking of which fan service and action set pieces this is a movie meant for the loyal tamil cinema fans and what i mean is that it has several moments that tie into references regarding vijay's own filmography and elements of tamil cinema that have been given due respect In some way I understand the lack of pan Indian approach with a movie like this because from a pan Indian level many of the references for people who are not well versed with Vijay's filmography will simply go over their head before I bring my minor critique about this I want to acknowledge the film's biggest plus according to me is that most of the action set pieces are shot in real locations you've got hand to hand combat in the floating market of thailand an exhilarating chase scene in the streets of moscow and all of these have a unique visceral quality that is otherwise missing in commercial movies today that elements on the screen are actually real what's again the mixed bag nature of the film is that each of these action set pieces is presented with an underwhelming score that just doesn't do justice to the choreography 
coming back to fan service there are several moments that will develop cheers in theaters especially for loyal tamil cinema fans these include stars and an homage to vijay's films but what i would have loved was that if they actually were a part of the story versus just having the sole intention for claps in theaters let me give you an example of another movie and tell you the difference deepika padukone in jawan is an extended cameo of sorts but it beautifully ties into the plot of the film but deepika padukone in circus leaves you with no feeling nothing other than a few claps seeing her gorgeous face dancing on a banger this is specifically in reference to someone who appears in the film those who have seen it will get what i'm talking about i wish they were a part of the story versus casually entering and exiting the same goes for a tamil cinema lead whose subplot is just unceremoniously abandoned talapati vijay rises but what about the others this is a vijay movie in and out he is physically giving everything to all the roles he is playing in the film and venkat prabhu channelizes a dark sinister and wicked side to vijay which actually surprised me there are moments where you see vijay revel in this manic energy and these lead to several high moments in the film where you see the star absolutely let go of the notion that he just wants to be an aspirational male lead what's sad however is that the star does all the heavy lifting and the supporting characters leave almost no impression the sad steam are boring from a writing pov literally not having a single badass moment or moment of banter that will be etched in your memory after stepping out of the theater the twist can be seen from a mile away mohan as menon is a very weak antagonist for a film presented on such a scale and his motivation is extremely outdated and lacks the punch that a movie of this magnitude deserves vijay totally kills it but he gets little to no support from others venkat prabhu really left more to be desired the die hard fans will get the moments will get the excuse to cheer in several mass moments but it all holistically becomes just that fan service and not a smart action thriller something that we expect from a director like venkat prabhu especially when you reflect and see what he extracted from tala and mangata i know that people will be satisfied with this kind of send off for vijay purely being for the fans but don't you think he should bid adieu to us with something better something that doesn't leave more to be desired something that actually feels like tandulkar on the shoulders of the indian cricket team after the 2011 world cup final win what do you think and that was a video guys write down in the comments below what you thought about goat please don't forget to follow me on instagram the hand is right in front of you follow me at jammy pants4 also please support us by smashing the like button and subscribing to our channel for weekly content ahead thank you for watching